What's up, it's Chom Time coming back at you live for another Chom Time Takeout review. So as you guys know, for the past couple weeks, I've had seafood and I've had an amazing experience. But this week is a new week. This week, I want to step out of my comfort zone and try out something different, something I really haven't tried before. So today, on this very day, we're going to be trying... Yeah, we're gonna be trying food from this place called Thai Bangkok in Highway, North Carolina. So this is not going to be a review. This is gonna be more like a taste test. A taste test for those who are watching that have never had Thai food, like myself. At least I don't think I've ever had Thai food. So for those that's watching this video, you never had Thai food, you're looking for a good Thai restaurant. If you wanna know how Thai food tastes, I'm your boy Chime Time, and I'm gonna be here to let you know how it is. We're gonna be trying this together. So the first thing we're gonna be trying out today is steamed dumplings. Just to kind of show y'all how I look in the camera right there. These steamed dumplings came in at a whopping seven. And they have crab meat, shrimp, pork, sweet corn, toasted garlic, and sweet soy sauce. Soy sauce. Gonna go ahead and dip it in there. Shove it in my mouth. It's not bad. It's not bad. So off the rip, if you're a person that loves pork and you love dumplings, this right here is for you. Even though this is a takeout order, they actually garnish this as if I was inside sitting down eating, which is pretty cool. These dumplings right here are wrapped pretty nice. Uh, they're a nice size, just so you guys can kind of see the size right there. They're really juicy, and when you dip it into the sauce, it makes it that much better. Yeah, see, this isn't regular soy sauce. This is this is sweet soy sauce, and damn, it is good. The only thing I'm not like about the steamed dumplings is that it says it came with crab meat and shrimp. All I could taste was straight pork. So, I mean, I didn't mind it at all, but I would love to taste a little bit of crab meat, you feel me? But other than that, I mean, it was it was pretty good, man. So, with the steamed dumplings, I'm going to go ahead and give it an eight. This next one is, is, is a little different. This is called the Red Sea Duck. Just want to show you guys how roasted duck looks. I've never seen it. So, yeah, that's how it looks. So, the Red Sea Duck comes with roasted duck, pineapples, peas, cherry tomatoes, bell peppers, and basil and red curry sauce. Now, this curry sauce right here. Oh, it look good now. Ooh, Lord have mercy, it smells good too. Damn! So you guys can kind of see how the red curry sauce look right there. Oh, when I say this is bussing, oh, it smells delicious. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to dip it in here or what, but that's what I'm gonna do. Christ. I'm gonna dip in another one real quick. Crack with you guys to kind of see how I look when I dip that joint in. Ooh, come here, to daddy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh man, this is mm. This is good stuff. Now this plate cost $26.95. I was not gonna order this, but for one, I've never had roasted duck before, and two, the red curry sauce looked very appealing with the pineapple. So my full analysis on the roasted duck, I will say the roasted duck was really good. And it was definitely roast. But when you put the roasted duck into the curry sauce, Oh my God. It's almost like having sex without a condom versus sex with a condom. Having sex without a condom feels better, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, that's the best I can come up with. It just tastes and feels so good. Just wanna show you guys, the meat on here is like very juicy. Now, back to the curry sauce, amazing. I mean, to put pineapples, peas, cherries, basil, and all that stuff into some curry sauce. It was very creative. And the curry sauce isn't spicy, and I'm very surprised. I'm willing to say that this curry sauce is probably better than your mama's curry sauce. And I'm willing to bet on that. If you're looking for a dish that is packed with a lot of flavor, and if you like duck, if you like meat, that Red Sea Duck is the is the dish to try. So on a scale from one to 10, I'm rating that Red Sea Duckity Duck Duck a 10. So last but most certainly not least, we have the Imperia Radna Crispy Noodles. Imperia Radna Crispy Noodles. And this has crispy yellow noodles with seafood combination, broccoli, carrots, mushrooms with house gravy sauce. I'm assuming this right here is the seafood combination. Oh, it's definitely a seafood combination. Oh, that smells good. And that right there is the crispy noodles, which I'm not sure why they call crispy noodles because these are not crispy. So this specific dish was $18.95, ladies and gentlemen, and um, I really don't know how to eat this. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to dip the noodles into the rod knife, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I really hope I'm eating this right. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Oh my God. Mm, this is good. Oh, this is good. So for the price of $18.95, this right here is busting too. So what comes in here, it looks like it has uh, carrots. I can see broccoli, 
I can see mushrooms. I can see shrimp. I think there's some mussels in here. Yeah, man, this thing is really packed with a lot of seafood. I think I'm more surprised at how this gravy tastes. Think of gravy, you don't really think of gravy being like this. You really think of gravy being nice and thick with a pack of flavor. This right here is not thick at all. It's almost like a light creamy broth. You wanna try something different and you like seafood and you like vegetables? This right here is definitely the one. And the fact that they had the nerve, the audacity to make this as flavorful as possible. You did a damn good job, Ty. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and rate this a 10. Now if that's out the way, let's get into the experience. So when I first walked into this restaurant, I noticed on the glass that it said, we are fully vaccinated, which that made me feel comfortable walking into this restaurant. When I walk into this restaurant, Everything screams out Thai Bangkok. Sculptures, the wine, the sushi station, the pictures, the little birdies on the wall. Everything was just nicely put. So for one, it took about 30 minutes for my food to come out, which isn't that bad considering the fact that I ordered a lot of food. Now, a couple things I did not like about this restaurant. I'm in the restaurant, I look up at the ceiling and the ceiling is extremely dirty. I mean, it literally looks like somebody's eating their food and just like throwing it up at the ceiling, bruh. I mean, what the hell is that for? Another thing I didn't like is they had the receipts on the side of the wall. I'm not really sure what that was about, but it looked really tacky. I'm sure you guys could find a better way or a better location to put the receipts in the paper instead of sticking them on the wall. There also was a guy that walked in that had a problem with his food, and I feel like they didn't acknowledge the fact that he had a problem with his food. It very well could have been a language barrier, but when a customer asked the manager, was there a new cook? Is there something wrong with the food? He kind of just brushed it off. So we just gonna chunk that up as he just didn't understand what the hell he was saying. That's probably what it was. But I didn't like the fact that he didn't address his issue. Also, like to mention this restaurant has a 95.0 sanitation score, which is, it's fairly good in my opinion. Would I eat here again? Absolutely. Everyone that's watching this video that's never had Thai food, Thai food is great. It is packed with a lot of freaking flavor. To watch this video, you should definitely go try it out. It is definitely expensive for sure. I spent about 60 bucks on all this food, but I will say, I mean, it's definitely worth the price. Thai Bangkok. So the Thai Bangkok restaurant, I recommend to anyone that's looking for something new, that loves Thai food, and for someone that actually loves seafood as well. Well, this restaurant, I'm gonna tell you right now, this, this restaurant is gonna probably take all my money. Restaurant and restaurant owners, we are currently recovering from a pandemic. If you'd like for me to come and review your restaurant, hit me up on Facebook at Chime Time, or hit me up on Instagram at Mr. Chime Time. To all my fans, I love y'all so much, man. Continue to be loyal, be blessed, and I'm out of here, peace.